In the last video lecture, we had an overview of the experiment done by Mendel, for the analysis of inheritance of two characters. The two characters were seed shape and seed color. Today, we will understand in detail, Mendel's law of independent assortment. Let's begin. Mendel crossed a true breeding plant producing round yellow seeds and true breeding plant producing wrinkled green seeds. This was the P generation. Now, we know that, during gamete formation, each gamete will have one allele for seed shape and one allele for seed color. That's, each gamete will have one allele for each character. So, the gametes produced by the plant with round yellow seed will contain dominant R and Y allele. Similarly, the gametes produced by the plant with wrinkled green seed will contain recessive R and Y allele. In the F1 generation, Mendel obtained all plants with round yellow seeds. If we look at the genotype of the F1 plant, we know that dominant R and Y allele came from one true breeding parent, and recessive R and Y allele came from the other true breeding parent. To highlight this fact, I have used two different colors to represent the genotype. Now, Mendel's question was whether the allele of different genes are transmitted together during gamete formation, in the same combination that original parent had. In other words, will dominant, R and Y allele always be transmitted together generation after generation? And, will recessive R and Y allele will be transmitted together? Or, the allele of different genes are transmitted, independently of each other. To know the answer, Mendel self-fertilized the F1 plants. Let's first predict the progeny of F2 generation separately, according to the two possibilities. The genotype of both parents in F1 generation is capital R, small r, capital Y, small y. The first possibility states that, the allele of different genes stay together when gametes formed. According to this possibility, only two types of gametes will be formed. Capital R, capital Y and, small r, small y. That means, allele for yellow color will always stay together with the allele of round seed shape. And, allele for green seed color will always stay together with the allele for wrinkled seed shape. Thus, the transmission of one particular allele would depend on the transmission of another. Let's draw the Punnett square. Now, you can see here, according to this possibility only two types of phenotypes should be obtained in F2 generation. Plants with round yellow seeds and, plants with wrinkled green seeds. Also note that these phenotypes are same as that of P generation. The phenotypic ratio obtained is 3 is to 1. Same as in the monohybrid cross. The second possibility states that allele of different genes do not stay together when gametes are formed. In other words, allele of different genes behave independently of each other. Let's see how gametes will be formed according to this possibility. Each allele for a character can pair with any of the allele for the second character. For example, allele responsible for round seed shape can pair with allele for yellow seed color, as well as, green seed color. Similarly, allele responsible for wrinkled seed shape, can pair with allele for yellow seed color, as well as, green seed color. So, there are four possible combinations of allele for these two characters. Or in other words, four type of gametes. Since, both the male and female plant of F1 generation have the same genotype. Both will produce the same type of gametes. Let's now draw the Punnett square with four rows and four columns. Write the gametes produced by male parent along the top of the square. And, write the gametes produced by female parent along the left side of the square. Now, Write down the combinations of allele and the offspring that is, F2 generation, in the boxes of this square. 
From Punnett Square, we find that, there will be 9 round yellow seed producing plants, 3 round green seed producing plants, 3 wrinkled yellow seeds producing plant, and, 1 wrinkled green seeds producing plant. The ratio is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Here, you must have noted that, two new phenotypes were also obtained. Plants with round green seeds and, plants with wrinkled green seeds. Mendel obtained same results, in his The Hybrid Cross Experiment. Among these, 315 were plants with round yellow seeds. 108 with round green seeds. 101 with wrinkled yellow seeds. And, 32 with wrinkled green seeds. The ratio calculated is, nearly 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. This explains that, for the inheritance of allele for more than one character, second possibility is true. On the basis of his results, Mendel proposed that, the allele for seed shape and, the allele for seed color originally present in each parent, would separate from each other and, be transmitted independently. The allele of different genes do not stay together when gametes form. The inheritance of one trait did not influence the inheritance of any other trait. The results obtained by Mendel's The Hybrid Cross are the basis of Mendel's second law, the law of independent assortment. The term assortment here means distribution or the grouping of allele. So, according to this law, one allele for a character, can group itself with, any other allele for a different character, during gamete formation. The general statement of Mendel's second law is, the allele of different genes separate independently of one another, during gamete formation. That's all in today's video lecture. I hope it is helpful to you. In the next video lecture, we will learn about, test cross. Thank you for watching.